Okay, so I've answered this question like various different ways on different videos that I've done on this channel, but again, um, it was posed a different way that I haven't really talked about before, and so I just wanted to address that, and it is about working in PA school. So is it a good idea for you to work in PA school? Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I had a question posed by Anne, um, and so I'm gonna read this question for you all. She was asking specifically about working in PA school um, and kind of just trying to figure out like, you know, how, how do you go about um, answering that question, okay? So it is interview season, people are getting asked all different types of questions in your interview, so make sure that you are prepared up the wazoo for your interview, because anything can be thrown your way. Um, and Anne N was asking me, she says, hi Adana, thank you for the video. I have a question. If they ask you during the interview, are you going to work while in school, or do you plan on keeping your position upon acceptance? Should you answer honestly and say yes if you plan on working and perhaps mention the job is per diem or say not or say no even if you plan on working? And I'm referencing this to per diem positions, not part-time or full-time as I know those will take away from study time. Thank you for your help. Okay, and so I don't know, I mean, I don't know who, like, the majority of my viewers, I know your age range, but, you know, maybe not everybody knows the difference between per diem and part-time and full-time. So obviously full-time is your general, like, 40 hours a week, part-time is, like, about 20 or so hours a week, and per diem is essentially as needed. Um, so typically you might work, like, once a week for sure, and then, you know, as needed, okay? So there's not really truly any guaranteed per se time um, as with your full-time and your part-time jobs so that's why it's a little bit more flexibility uh, in terms of keeping that job if you were to get into PA school and so she's specifically asking about per diem positions now I know that that is like it's the what threw me off a little is like should you answer honestly and for me you should always answer honestly I don't like people like going into things where you're actually supposed to be an honest person like an honest provider you know telling your patients what's really going on with them like start your career off with honesty just be honest you know we learn that as little kids you know um, honesty is the best policy so <laughs> go ahead and and continue to be honest and I would absolutely answer that answer that question honestly and I think that it would be beneficial for you to say yes you know um, I do plan on keeping my current position however my position is per diem um, especially if you live in an area that you're going to be going to school in right you know it's different if you're like moving from state to state then you know that changes like no I'm not keeping my position or well um, my position is an hour and a half away so I'm not gonna be keeping that or yes I am gonna keep it I'm gonna work it on the weekends whatever it is um, just be prepared to not only answer that question, but the question that follows it, uh, whether it be, well, our policy is that our students don't work, how do you feel about that, or what do you plan to do if you were to be accepted, um, or, you know, the, the question might follow as in, so, okay, how do you see yourself managing both PA school and a part-time or per diem job? So make sure that you're prepared for all aspects of questions and rounds of questions that can come from you answering um, that question as a yes or no. And then as long as you're prepared and you know exactly what your, your plans are, then you should be fine. You guys hear me say it all the time, the plans of the diligent lead to prosperity. So if you're planning in terms of, hey, I'm going to work per diem, I'm going to work two days out of the month because, you know, I want to have like some kind of play money while I'm in PA school, um, then do that. If you need the job, I know many people who were like were still firefighters and nurses and CNAs while in PA school because they needed the job. They had a family that they had to pro like provide for um, and they still made it. Um, it wasn't easy, you know, there were some tests and quizzes and things that may not have like gotten the best grade that they could have gotten had they had a little bit more time on their hands. 
but they made it and they are PAs. And so it is possible to not only go to PA school, but to hold down a full-time and part-time job. Definitely a per diem job, um, but you just have to really like compartmentalize your life and plan diligently so that you don't allow your schooling to suffer because you're paying a ton of money for that, okay? All right, Ann. So I hope I answered your question. My answer, like just in a wrap up form is yes, answer it honestly. <laughs> always answer the questions honestly. That should always be your policy, okay? Um, and then, you know, hopefully they, they take that honesty and they can see that you've made the necessary um, changes and adjustments and plans to make sure that you succeed not only in PA school, but in life. All right. Thank you guys. If you have any other comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Please go on over to Adama the PA on Instagram and get that C University on, on Instagram. You can follow me there. You should also check out getthatcuniversity.com because we can help you not only get into, but through PA school. Um, and I know like a lot of you are in the throngs of the PA school process. So we're here to help. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.